We also have the adjustments of the sustained reward criterion and the refractory period. We talked about both of them earlier. So even though it's an event and it's z-scores, you could add some of these fine-tuning characteristics. I tend to leave them at zero. Because you've already addressed them elsewhere. Okay. Well, no, because if you're working throughout the event wizard, elsewhere doesn't matter anymore. Oh, right. Okay, so you got to keep that in mind. With the z-score protocol, the majority of that protocol is built from the event wizard. The only thing that it's actually doing is it's reaching out and it's using the the user threshold, it's using the coherence threshold as parameters, but you're going to adjust those from the training screen. So why aren't you setting the sustained reward the same way we did? Because for z-score training, I don't know of people that are introducing any of those delays. Oh. They're looking for more of an instantaneous, not to have to hold a condition. Now, there might be people out there that are. Okay. I'm just not aware of it. Okay. Now, somebody just mentioned before the event number. To define the event number again, this is one protocol. This kind of what you see on this screen is, I should say, it's one aspect of a protocol. You could actually have up to 16 different things happening within this protocol. As I click, or I click on event number two, we see the event changes, the parameters change. It's controlling something different. Okay, and what we're going to see on the training screen is we have this little red line that continues to, to um, find its average basically, and it's telling you the percent time that event one was happy. Okay, that met it met criteria. Where are you looking at? This is event two. Event one. Event 2. And again, we have it all pre-built for you. You're not doing anything here. You're not changing anything. Okay, it's simply percent time. Which of the Z's are you inside of? I'm in Z percent OK, the one at the very bottom. Very bottom of the settings file list. Not the one that says new. Okay. Event number 3. Simply define that X equals uther that the U equals the target size, plus or minus standard deviation, bullseye target. You know, what z-scores fall within plus or minus two standard deviations of the norm? Okay, target size. Does that make sense? Four. Disabled just residual from an old protocol, not doing anything. Five, enabled. Event one, flag. This is simply to award a point when the z-score meets criteria, Don, remember, and control the game. You notice also it controls the multimedia player. Because these are parts of the protocol. These are the building blocks of this protocol. There is no enabled down there. The enabled would be at the top. Look up at the top and click on four. Okay. And what does your event look like? What does the event say? Well, what's it say under use equation? Well, what's under the, read the equation. It says check equation, X is A and F, L, three times, plus A and L, four. And you're on event four, aren't you? Did you click? Enabled? Yeah, click disabled for me. It shouldn't be on. Hit disabled. Yeah. Okay. All right. So basically, if I look at this protocol, it's five events. It's actually four events creating the Z percent OK. Okay.
probably said do nothing. Right. Right. Play MIDI probably. The movie's always been controlled by the checkbox. And then the other games that you mentioned, third party games, this is where we would copy this. Right. You exactly. Exactly. You would copy event five and put it in whether you wanted to consider it delta or theta, you could put it in nine or ten. Okay. Nine being delta, ten being theta. Okay. Okay. Remember we talked about the emulation mode? If you're controlling a third party game like Somatic Vision, you have to copy event 5 and place it in 9 or 10 so then it thinks it's that component. Those were fixed, for fixed addresses for the game. Yep. And so you just go copy event and then and go, go to 9 and, and you paste, paste event. event. You got and it. And then make sure you hit OK to save it. What about uh, the Flash games? Some of them, I've noticed it's do nothing on everything. Well, it's do nothing, games, but yeah. the gas, the Flash game's working because when the event condition's correct, it gives a 1. When it's not correct, it gives a 0. The game says, if there's a 1, Pac-Man move. If there's a 0, stop. The do nothing is just based on the result of, do you want to play MIDI, do you want to do this, do that, no matter what, it's always given that, that so X or zero. If you're running a game, you don't have to worry about the sound. Right, unless there's no sound to the game, and then you want sound on event one, right. for instance. Okay? All right, we've got a glance at the event wizard. We'll look more later. Let's do this. Let's take a break. We're going to come back. I'm going to then fire up the training screen with the Z scores, and we're going to look through a bunch of different things. Okay?